Hey, how's it going guys? My name is Cypher, and this is my entry to become a caster for the For Honor ESL Hero Series Tournament happening on April 12th in Las Vegas. Just to give you some background about myself, I've been streaming full-time on Twitch for the past two years, and I've also created content on YouTube. I'm a professional For Honor competitive player, I've been playing since the start of the game, and I have deep knowledge about the game and the mechanics that surround the game. So... Today, what I'm going to be doing for you guys as an entry is I'm going to be casting Hero Series Week 2 Qualifier Final between Berace on his Warlord and Bandana Dan on his Centurion. I have not watched this before, so this is going to be the first time I am watching this go down. I'm going to be casting over this fight and giving you guys my expertise and my casting capabilities. So let's get right into it. This is Game 1, Round 1 between Berace and Bandana. Berace is on his Warlord. Bandana is on his Centurion. Uh, two really strong players. Bandana recently switched from Warden to Centurion to be a little bit more competitive. And Centurion has one of the most punishing parries in the game. So we'll see how uh, Berace is going to be able to counter this and, and how he can handle the pressure from Centurion. Now, Warlord, War Warlord is a very, very powerful character. Everybody knows this. Um... But we'll see what Centurion has up his sleeve. He's going for a guard break, trying to see, trying to get a feel of what Bandana's trying to do. Uh, he dodges the kick, does not parry that heavy, and now Bandana has him in a corner. This is not where you want to be versus a Centurion. He gets grabbed while dodging, and this is over, fellas. This is over. That right there is why you need to avoid Centurions when you are close to a wall especially a corner. A Centurion can keep you stuck in there for a long period of time and you're bound to take anywhere from 80 to 160 plus damage depending on how much the combo goes on for. Now this map is favoring the Warlord a little bit more because there's not that many walls to work with. So we'll see how Berace handles this. Now Berace is going for a running charge. There's no walls nearby so he doesn't get anything off of that. I guess that worked against him this time. He's going for some light attacks, but he has to be careful as to not get parried. Centurion does get a lot of damage off of a light. Now, Bandana did a good job of dodging that headbutt, and he gets the guard break. Now, the thing about Centurion, though, is Centurion has a very slow dodge recovery. Not the slowest, but it's pretty slow. So he has to dodge very early if he wants to get a guard break off of the Warlord. Now... Berace made a mistake right there. He got caught near a wall, and he took a lot of damage. Let's see if he can get back into this fight. Right now, Berace is near the wall, and I think he should try to take this fight out into the open field. He did a good job of creating some distance between him and Bandana, and now he's in the open field, and we'll see how he can handle this. He gets kicked. He dodges early again and gets kicked. He needs to make sure that he dodges when the kick comes out. Bandana went for the zone, but luckily for Berace, he was blocking in the zone direction. So it was not confirmed. Now, that time he was not blocking, so he ate, he ate a zone and he is now defeated. Bandana takes round two pretty dominantly. I don't see how Berace is going to keep doing what he's doing. He needs to change his game up right now. He needs to avoid getting near walls, and he also needs to play a little bit slower. He's moving around a little bit too much and allowing Bandana to kick him very, very frequently. Let's see how he takes this in the third round. Starting off with some running. Does the charge, but gets grabbed. That's the second time he gets punished off of his charge. I feel like he should not be doing that move. He takes about 60 or 70 damage, and he gets grabbed again while dodging. He dodged too early. I think this is over. Bandana goes in with the zone. Two confirmed zones on a knockdown opponent, and that is GG. 3-0 for Bandana. Dominant game one. Very dominant game one. So let's talk about that really quickly. We all know Warlord is one of the strongest characters currently in a 1v1 environment. Um, and Centurion having a small health pool is a big liability. But Bandana played that very, very well. He played it safe. He kept his distance. He did not allow Berace to pressure him with headbutts. He maintained a distance to where if he sees a headbutt coming, he can avoid it. And sometimes he can punish it. I feel like Berace, on the other hand, was playing a little bit too aggressive using that charge a little bit too much, and it cost him. Berace needs to take the fight to the open field. He needs to avoid being near a wall and try to play a little bit more methodically against the Centurion. So we're going to jump into game two of this tournament. We're going to go ahead and skip the entry part, and we're going to jump straight into 
Game two, round one, between Barace on the Warlord and Bandana on the Centurion. Let's see if Barace can adapt um, and see where this goes. So he's starting off with some running. Hopefully he doesn't do the charge. He goes for a headbutt. That's a clean headbutt. Gets a free light poke. Maintaining his distance. He's playing a lot slower. I can already, sell, I can already tell that he's doing a lot better. That headbutt was not punished. Again, Bandana needs to dodge early if he wants to punish the headbutt. Now, Brace dodged a little too early. And now he's going to take full punish from the Centurion. This might be over if he can't get out of his corner. He got out of the corner. He gets a heavy attack, but now he's out of stamina because the Centurion already drained too much of his stamina. Let's see if Brace can get out of this. He takes two quick lights. He needs to avoid the kicks. It's over. Brace could have counter guard break that. I think he was under pressure. I know he's a better player than this. Let's see if he can turn this around in the next rounds. He needs to calm down and dodge when it's time to dodge. He is dodging too early and getting punished by the Centurion. Bandana doing an excellent job of keeping the pressure up while the race is out of stamina. All right. So we start again with the footsies, trying to, trying to get some space, trying to see if somebody's going to make a mistake. Goes for a headbutt. Gets dodged, and he's going to take a punish. Except he was not close to the wall, so Bandana will get counter-punished right here. Bandana misjudges throw distance, and Barace was smart enough to punish that. So, Barace now has a really, really good health lead. Bandana is down to two bars. This is where Centurion gets a little tricky. Centurion doesn't have that much health. Only around 110 health, so if Centurion makes a couple mistakes, he very well could lose very, very quickly. And that's it. It's over. It's that easy. Centurion cannot afford to take that much damage in such a short period of time. He will lose that round. But Race played that very well. He was lucky that he wasn't near the wall. He maintained his distance from the wall, and he punished Bandana accordingly. If a race can, can keep up that type of pressure, he very well might take this back. We are in game two, round three, with Bandana up 1-0 from game one. Brace gets an early light. Bandana whiffs his guard break, and Brace punishes accordingly. Goes for a headbutt. Misses. He is near a wall. This is not good. The throw. The punch. Okay, so Brace got a little bit lucky. He could have taken a lot more damage. Bandana down to two bars. Brace at four bars. He goes for the charge. Gets a heavy. I'm telling you that charge is a big mistake. Bandana is doing a great job of avoiding it and punishing. He dodges the kick. Bandana faints the heavy and Brace falls for it. Brace is down to one and three quarters of a bar. Bandana down to two. If Bandana grabs Brace, it's over. Brace needs to punish Bandana twice. That's, that's the benefit of being a Centurion. Centurion can put out a lot of damage. Brace takes a light. He's down to a bar and a quarter. Bandana takes a light. Bandana might be within punish range of one parry. He is now. They're both very, very close in health. Bandana gets a free light on Barace. He needs to block that. He needs to be ready. He's backing up. He's trying to get his health back. He does not want to take his he does not want to take his zone. He gets a he gets a zone on Bandana. And he uses the superior light attack to finish off Bandana. That was a very ballsy move by Bandana. Going for that zone. Did not work in his favor. Barace now has a 2-1 lead against Bandana Dan. We're going into round four. Game two. So I can already tell that Barace is adapting very well in this fight. Playing a little bit slower, playing a little bit more patient, and not charging as much as he was in the first game. Dana goes for a grab, quickly guard broken. Barace gets a headbutt. He goes for the zone. It gets parried. Kicked into the wall. Fully charged heavy. Full punish from Bandana Dan. And now Barace is out of stamina. He needs to be careful. He dodges the kick. That was a great job, and he counters with a zone attack. That was a great job of avoiding that, but there's the charge. The charge is a big mistake. Brace down to a bar and a half. Bandana now in control of the tempo of this fight. Zone gets blocked. Another zone. But now, Brace needs to be careful. He's out of stamina. Bandana has two bars. Brace has a bar and a half. Bandana can finish this with one guard break. Brace is going to need at least two. Bandana counters those attacks. Doesn't fall for the headbutt. Gets a free light in. 
Trying to bait Berace into attacking. Very intense match between these. He gets punched. He's in the corner. It's it's over. It's over. Bandana. Excellent feint into guard break. Berace put his back to the corner. Again, that is not where you want to be facing off against the Centurion. Bandana punished and put the pressure up. Punching Berace into the wall and finishing him off with an excellent feint into guard break. Berace fell for the trap. It is now 2-2, two two, game 2, round 5. Berace is on his last round. If he loses this, Bandana takes the victory. If he wins this, he lives to, he lives to fight another day in round or game 3. Berace starting off with a quick headbutt light. Two quick headbutt lights. Goes for a guard break. Heavy attack. Misses. That is shocking. Bandana gets two free lights. Berace runs himself out of stamina. This isn't looking good. He started off really well. Dodges the kick a little too late. Gets Kai in the corner. Is this over? No, Bandana's out of stamina, but he completes the full punish. Berace is down to a bar and a half of health. Both are both boys out of stamina. Resetting the fight. Berace does not have any mistakes to make, or this is over. He started off really strong, but Bandana was able to counter. Goes for two quick pokes. Three pokes. Getting his stamina back. Bandana down to two bars and a half. Very, very close fight. Bandana gets a kick. Gets a free light. Goes for the guard break. Counters. Another kick. Zone. Blocked. Gets guard broken. Gets a heavy attack. They're both down to one bar of health. Who's going to take this? Heavy gets blocked. Heavy gets blocked again. Gets kicked. That's a heavy. Gets blocked again. I thought he was going to go for the zone there. But he, I guess he wanted to play it safe. Bandana's playing very aggressive with these heavies. But Berace is not falling for it. Berace gets a free poke. Bandana's going to reset the fight to get his health back. <coughs> Both players are down to a bar of health. This is the final round. Berace goes for a zone. Does not get parried. Berace goes for a headbutt, and Bandana reacts with a heavy attack. That is game over. Bandana is our champion of round two of the Hero Series qualifiers. Taking the victory over Berace's Warlord. That was a very intense fight. It proves that Centurion has a chance in the 1v1 uh, meta. Warlord, while being the king for so long, was just taken down right now in a best of three. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Cypher, and I hope to see you in LA for the For Honor Hero Series $10,000 1v1 tournament.